everybody, it's Rachel and Neil here to share with you three ideas about how to make your practice space better. The first idea we have is to make sure you have all the essentials in your space, such as a watch or a clock or a timer to keep track of the time, uh, recordings, pencils, a stand, uh, your music, metronome and tuner. For the metronome and tuner, uh, you can easily find those online or find an app that you can stick on your phone or tablet. Or if you prefer, you can get them in real life. Like one of these. Also, for cellists, a couple things to think about. Make sure that you're sitting in a proper chair, not practicing on a couch or sofa or anything like that. And if your end pin is slipping on whatever surface you're on, think about using a rock stop like this or a strap like this or an anchor. These are a little bit more solid. And for upper strings, posture is super important. It's important for everybody, um, but you definitely want to make sure that you have your shoulder rest when you're practicing. Okay, moving on. Number True. two. Yep. Second one we have is a distraction-free environment, which can mean different things to different people. If you're able, try finding a practice spot where other people aren't walking through. Other distractions include, but are not limited to, your TV, cell phone, tablet, siblings or pets that want your attention, or other activities that create commotion in your space. Oh yeah. Okay. For sure. Last one is inspiration. So inspiration in your practice space, maybe that's a picture or something like that of a musician that you really admire. I used to have recital programs that were autographed by local musicians and I used to love having that in my practice spot. And I just had a sign that said focus. That's good too. Okay. Well, with that, we'll wrap it up and uh, happy practicing.